Alright guys, so we're going to finish this up today. I'm going to put you guys on time lapse because I got the stickers in and it's pretty simple one, two, three. We're going to be removing the elbow, putting a new elbow on, reusing the handle, new straps, the backpack pad. I'm going to go to the auto parts store and I'm going to get more of these. Alright, so time lapse. You know, here we go. I don't want to uh, see you guys waste my time trying to... Uh, you know, just basically nut and bolt things all together. Uh, most of the stuff was from eBay and the stickers were from Parts Trade. Now, if you guys seen the kit, it's supposed to come with two clamps, it only came with one. Now, we're going to use a trick that the landscapers use to our advantage. Electrical tape. They electrical tape the ends of the joints at the tube, one for no loss of air, and two, so the tubes don't blow off. All right? And that's what we're going to use to conceal our old... Clamp that didn't come with the kit. Now I know they do sell a tube kit that comes with the new handle, but I'm gonna roll the dice and hopefully nobody picks up on it. Because remember, I'm gonna put a nice detail on this, you're not gonna notice any. All right, see that there? Just gonna throw some tape. Now the only reason why I'm kind of like rushing to get this done is that we are going to get a lot of rain for the next three days. And guess who's not going to be working? Landscapers. And what are they going to be doing sitting home? Believe it or not, we're going to try and spend some money. So we are going to try and capture that money. tape is cheap. You buy that in bulk. You just get it from your job. <laughs> Whatever you do. It's none of my business. See that? Like so. Remember? Okay. And then we'll take this here so we can seal our clamp right around the joint. Because that's what they do. If you ever pay attention to landscapers, watch. Because that's how you pick up their tricks, too. And they won't even question it. Because they know why. See that? Can you tell that there's an old hose clamp there? Nope. And then even this one here. I'll just go over it. Like everything else. Is you could tell them that you don't want the clamps clicking up and tearing things. So now it's time to turn. It's a golden moment. Alright, this is what kind of held this whole build up. The stickers. 
this is what makes a break. And we will have this thing for sale. You would never know. Slight detail. Then you could say that these nicks and bumps and scratches. I mean, you know what? We're on a curb. Let's not put this stick on. Right? The only thing is, I'm not even going to try and detail this thing because we're out of time. And I'm just going to power wash it real quick, get it wet, and we'll go from there. Alright, so here you go. Took photos with it, still wet. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to put a shine on it. Look at that. We just turned a excellent running Red Max that looked like SHIT. We turned this thing into Mujo Profit with very little effort and maybe about a hundred bucks, 125 worth of parts. Um, I'll put in the description all the part numbers I used. But it's going to be a nice payday for us. So, anyway, if you guys found this video helpful, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Tay's Performance.